Okay, so Wayne asked me if he could have a fire at my house, and uh, I said yes, and then he shows up with like a truck with speakers or subs or something, and then there's kids like chopping stuff up and with an axe, and they're throwing stuff in a fire. I don't know. I don't know. And just move the camera to whatever I'm pointing at, okay? Okay. Ready? All right. Ready? Yeah. Hey, it's me, Dest, and welcome to Smarter Every Day. We're going to talk about something called group sourcing. Group sourcing is when you have a large group of easily influenced people. Yeah, easily influenced people with cameras, and we're going to do a rocket on a rope. And the rocket on the rope is going to fly down, and we're going to have gasoline on the target, and it's going to light the bonfire, maybe. It's either going to do that, or we're going to look really stupid. <laughs> so, what's going to happen right now is all you have cell phones with cameras on them, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody turn to horizontal mode. Horizontal mode. And then what I want you to do is get in, a, in an arc around, around the fire on the back side. And then what we're going to do is something called bullet time. What bullet time is, is you're going to give me all your videos after the fact. And I'm, we're gonna shoot the rocket, and it's gonna blow up the blow up the fire. And then I'm gonna take all your videos and stitch them together, and it's gonna look like the Matrix. So back up a little bit so you don't catch on fire with your face. Then the rocket will blast off. Then what happens? I don't know. You don't know? If you're expecting an explosion, I'm sorry, it's not gonna happen. This is gonna be kind of kind of girly a little bit. Really old rocket, so they might not work. Give me all of your video files. <laughs> so obviously the first challenge I had to overcome is these videos did not kick on at the exact same time. So I had to synchronize that by looking at the fireball or listening to the audio and lining them up. The next thing I had to do is I had to arrange them spatially as they were positioned around the bonfire. Click on any of these videos and go to that person's perspective to see what their reaction was to the fireball. Everybody with low resolution phones and high resolution phones tended to group together. What does that tell us about the group? All right, hold on, here we go. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, so here's what we did. We took this information and we stitched it together to see what I could do with it. The first thing I decided to do is to rewatch the video in real time, but do it by scrolling through the different perspectives and spin around the fire. So after that, I decided to try my hand at bullet time. <laughs> so yeah, I know, it looks pretty bad, but if you think about it, we had 30 seconds of instructions for a large group of amateur videographers, and we were able to accomplish something pretty cool. What did we learn? First of all, the radial distance from the object that you're looking at is important. Pull a string and get everybody on the same distance. Secondly, the angular spacing. It'd be great if you could paste that off beforehand. Third, it's important that you use the same devices all throughout because different devices react to brightness levels and white balance differently. So if I'm honest, this is the part of the video where I provide links to other stuff on my channel in hopes that you'll check it out and subscribe. But there's a cool unofficial holiday in the UK centered around bonfires at Periodic Videos. Feel free to check that out. I'm Destin. Thank you for watching. You're getting smarter every day. Have a good one.